What do you understand when you see this image? To me, it's a group of youth that are really confused and don't know where to go. I have the opportunities to speak in different audiences around the world, and generally speaking, young people have lost hope. They feel it's too late to do anything about climate change. They need to see us leaders leading by example. The young people get bored very fast. So you cannot continue calling them for meetings and do not allow them to use their skills, their talents. Some of them are good in acting, some are good in singing, some have very innovative ways of addressing the problem. So we cannot use a straight line. We are talking about carbon projects, 30 plus years. Are we all going to be there in the next 30 years? So if we are having a handful of young people in this conference, are we really preaching what we need to preach. When we have a life cycle of 30 years for a carbon project uh, and we really want to commit that we cannot just look at the current generation, we already have to look at the next generation. There are not many, you know, grants that are available for young people and these are issues of justice that if you want to have their project become a reality, to scale that project, we need grants. We are talking about intergenerational, isn't it? That's what we are talking about. So as elders, we tell each other good stories, nice things that we're doing and everything, then there'll be a gap because there'll be nobody else in between to actually take up what we are. Recognize the need for youth inclusion. If we appreciate the value that this inclusion is bringing to the overall goal, we will make available platforms that will make sure that these young people really are giving the value that we have in research.